Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give God the glory. Asante Yesu. Asante kwa siku ya leo. Asante kwa mpangilio wako juu ya maisha yetu. Asante kwa neema ambayo umetupatia mfalme wa amani, Jehovah. Jina lako liko juu. Wewe umeinuliwa mtakatifu wa Israeli. We worship you. We worship you. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. In Jesus mighty name. In Jesus mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ninafinika nyumba hii na damu ya Yesu Kristo. Ninafinika kivyombo vyote na damu ya Yesu Kristo. Watazamaji wote nimewafinika na damu ya Yesu Kristo. Ninachilia neema na nguvu juu yao. Ninachilia mafuta juu yao. Mtakatifu Mungu wa majeshi, uwe pamoja na wao katika kipindi hiki ambacho tunakwenda kufundishika mahusiano yako. Tunakwenda kuzama katika vilindi na visima vya 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 vya, vya mafundisho ambayo yametokana ya kutokana na hekima zako na akili yako ewe Mungu ili kwamba watumishi wako wakajengeke na mwili wa Kristo kaweze kujengwa. Basi na kukaribisha tena siku ya leo, uh, siku ya leo siku ambayo tunakwenda uh, kuangazia bado tuko katika uh, uh, kuangazia mambo kuhusu kizazi cha wachawi kizazi cha wachawi na kuna kitu ambacho uh, nimeweza kuelewa katika mafundisho haya ambayo tunafundishika ni kwamba kuna vitu ambavyo uh, 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 wewe unakwenda kusikia ambavyo vitaamsha mtu wako wa ndani kuweza kuelewa vitu fulani na matukio fulani ambayo yalifanyika katika maisha yako ama katika maisha ya familia yako ama kwa jamii yako ambayo atakufungua macho ukaweze kuelewa ni nini haswa unapaswa kutenda na ni nini ambacho kinaendelea katika maisha yako. Sikiliza. Wakati Kristo alipokuwa hapa duniani kulikuwa matukio fulani ambayo alitendeka katika Mathayo 21 mstari wa 12. Mathayo 21 mstari wa 12. Tunaambiwa kwamba Yesu akaingia ndani ya hekalu akawafukuza wote waliokuwa wakiuza na kununua hekaluni akazipindua meza za wabadili fedha na viti vyao waliokuwa wakiuza njiwa akawaambia imeandikwa nyumba yangu itaitwa nyumba ya sala sikiliza tunaambiwa Yesu akaingia ndani ya hekali akaingia ndani ya hekali alafu tunaambiwa akawafukuza akawafukuza wote waliokuwa wakiuza na kununua hekaluni akawafukuza Mwana wa Mungu yuko hapa duniani. Ameingia katika nyumba ya sala. Anaanza kufukuza baadhi ya watu ambao waliokuwa wanafanya vitendo fulani ambavyo vilikuwa vinatatanisha. Tunaambiwa walikuwa wakiuza na walikuwa wakinunua hekaluni. Alafu tunaambiwa akazipindua meza za wabadili fedha. Kulikuwa na watu ambao walikuwa wanabadilisha fedha katika nyumba ya Mungu. Yesu akapindua meza zao. Kuna watu ambao wamekuwekea meza wanakubadilishia destiny yako wanakubadilishia uh, uh, maisha yako wanaku au kazi yao ni kukaa chini na kudiscuss maisha yako wanaitwa wabadili fedha nitakuja kuwafundisha mambo hayo akazipindua meza za wabadili fedha na viti vyao waliokuwa wakiuza njiwa viti tunaambiwa ni viti vilipinduliwa na viti vyao kuna watu ambao wamekaa katika mamlaka fulani za rohoni lazima watapinduliwa ili kwamba we maisha yako yawe katika jinsi ambayo Mungu amekusudia ame yawe. Kuna viti lazima vitapinduliwa. They are called thrones and dominions. Thrones that must be overthrown. Kuna forces na kuna powers na kuna kingdoms ambazo zina operate in the spirit realm. Na mara nyingi ninapowafundisha ninawaambia kwamba they are monsters and they are demons. Monsters is hiyo ni level ambayo wamefika hawa 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 wanyama wa rohoni ambao wanatoka kuzimu kuhakikisha maisha yako yanakuwa yana katika jinsi ya, ya kutatiza wewe ambaye ulikuwa umezaliwa uwe mtu fulani unashangaa umebadilishiwa sasa unaanza kuishi maisha ambayo sio yako you are displaced physically and spiritually you are displaced because there is a force that is operating in your life There is a power that has taken charge over your destiny and they are driving you into the wrong direction. That's why I am here to decree a word upon your life to decree that your life shall never remain the same again from henceforth. Sikiliza, Yesu ameingia katika nyumba ya Mungu. Anafukuza watu. 
ameingia na mamlaka ambayo si ya kawaida ameingia katika hekalu tunatarajia kwamba taswali ama tasali pamoja na wenzake lakini tunaambiwa akaingia ndani ya hekalu akawafukuza wote waliokuwa wakiuza na kununua hekaluni wamepafanya kuwa sokoni akawafukuza wote nyumba ya Mungu ilikuwa imebadilishwa system ambayo ilikuwa inafai endelee pale wameweka system yao sasa they have planted another software kuna, kuna an operating system ambayo ina, inafanana na, na nyumba ya Mungu lakini si nyumba ya Mungu kwa sababu kile ambacho kinachofanyika pale sio katika mipangilio ya Mungu Yesu ametazama nyumba ya Mungu akaitazama yote pande zote akaitazama kwa makini akajua kuna tatizo akaingia ndani akaanza kuwafukuza watu watu wanafukuzwa katika nyumba ya Mungu watu wanafukuzwa wanaondolewa kuna biashara zilikuwa zinafanyika zilitatiza na aliangalia akajua hapa sipo sio vile kawaida ambayo watu wameumbwa wafanye katika nyumba ya Mungu kuna matukio tu fulani yaliwatatiza watu akawafukuza wote waliokuwa wakiuza na kununua hekaluni walikuwa wakiuza na kununua kuna vitu vilikuwa vinauzwa kwa hivyo kulikuwa katika nyumba ya sala kulikuwa na biashara inaendelea na kulikuwa na bidhaa zinauzwa na kuna watu wananunua yani wamekuja katika nyumba ya Mungu lakini si ati kwamba wamekuja ili kufanya ibada wamekuja kufanya biashara hawa walifukuzwa na watafukuzwa kuanzia sasa hivi unavyosikia sauti yangu ninakwenda kuwatimua wote ambao wamejipanga katika destiny yako ambao hawapaswi kuwa katika maisha yako Mungu atawaondoa na nakwambia kuanzia sasa maisha yako hayatabaki jinsi yalivyo tena listen to me kuna watu fulani walifukuzwa katika nyumba ya Mungu ni wale ambao walikuwa wakiuza na kununua hekaluni alafu tunaambiwa kuna vitu kuna wale waliofukuzwa na tunaambiwa kuna vitu vilipinduliwa akazipindua meza za wabadili fedha akazipindua akazipindua meza za wabadili fedha wabadili fedha wanafanya nini katika nyumba ya Mungu ni nini kinachoendelea haswa wabadili fedha watu wanabadilishana fedha katika nyumba ya Mungu what exactly is happening the situation of the house of god in that in those days tunaambiwa ni nini ambacho kitakuja kufanyika siku zinazokuja na ndiyo vitu ambavyo vinafanyika sasa hivi Unapata nyumba ya Mungu biashara nyingi zinafanyika pale. So many things are happening. It's like a complex. But no. The house of God is a house of prayer. It is a house of communion and fellowship between man and spirit and man and his God. Sikiliza, amepindua meza za wabadili fedha, alafu tunaambiwa kuna wale ambao walikuwa na viti, na viti vyao waliokuwa wakiuza njiwa. Kuna watu walikuwa wakiuza njiwa na viti vyao wakiuza njiwa wanauza roho mtakatifu wanauza vipawa ya kwamba mimi kukuwekelea mikono utatai lazima utoe kiwango fulani cha pesa niwekelewe mkono upokee roho mtakatifu wanauza njiwa akapindua na viti vyao waliokuwa wakiuza njiwa yani watu wako katika nyumba ya Mungu wanauza njiwa ni biashara pale biashara ya rohoni biashara ambazo zimekuwa zikitendeka katika nyumba ya Mungu ambazo zinitatiza maisha na destiny za watu wengi. Tunawaambiwa akawaambia. Kuna vitu ambavyo aliwaambia. Imeandikwa nyumba yangu itakuwa nyumba yangu itaitwa nyumba ya sala, itaitwa nyumba ya sala. My house shall be called a house of prayer. Nisikilize kwa makini. Katika ulimwengu wa rohoni kuna vitu ambavyo vinapinduliwa katika ulimwengu wa rohoni kuna vitu ambavyo vina uwezo wa kupinduliwa kabla serikali haijapinduliwa huwa wameshafanya mathematics za rohoni wakajua itakuwa vipi kesho things don't just happen no things are orchestrated things are planned things are designed We are co-creators with God. Unajua inamaanisha nini? Inamaanisha ya kwamba kuna vitu unaweza ku create. You can create events and time because the work of a prophet it is to alter to design to foresee events and time. The work of the prophet is to bring the people to God. 
kuna vitu vinafanyika katika ulimwengu wa rohoni ambapo ni mikutano inafanyika agreements zinafanyika covenant zinafanyika maagano yanafanyika kwa ajili ya maisha ya mtu kwa ajili ya huduma ya mtu kwa ajili ya watoto wa mtu agreements huwa zinafanyika na ndio vitu ambavyo vinafaa kupinduliwa siku ya leo ndio vitu ambavyo tunataka ku, kuvishughulikia siku ya leo tunataka kuondoa kuna ma agreements ambazo zimefanyika ambazo lazima zivunjike lazima ziharibike kwa sababu kuna watu tu wana namna fulani ambao hawawezi kukaa wakiwa na amani kama wewe unaendelea hawana amani wakikuona unaendelea unafanikiwa hawana amani yani hao they are out to destroy they are out to kill hawa watu yani mission yao ni kuhakikisha wewe hautafika pale ambapo Mwenyezi Mungu amekusudia wapo hawa watu wako na ndio maana niko hapa ni kuhakikishia kwamba hakuna atakayeweza kuondoa kusudi la Mungu kwa maisha yako watagonga mwamba nasikia sauti inaniambia watagonga mwamba watapiga ukuta watagonga mwamba wataumia wenyewe Tuweze kuangalia ma, ma, matukio ambayo yanafanyika katika maisha ya mtu. Uweze kuelewa exactly what exactly is happening to this person. Yes, what exactly is happening to this person? There are people who need a, a psychological attention. There are people who need spiritual attention. Kuna watu ambao wanahitaji tu advice. Kuna mtu anahitaji tu akae na mwenzake amsikilize tu kwa muda mfupi atapata solution la maisha. You, some people just need a listening ear. Hakuna kitu kingine na maisha yao yamefunguka. Your miracle is with the person that you are with at that hour. You just need to know, to think deeper, to foresee and understand who exactly is that person and why is he sent to your life? Na ni mission gani ambayo Mungu ameweka kwa huyu mtu juu ya maisha yake? It is not about the flashy cars, it's not about the big houses that that people live in that that make them who they are. No, it is the simple things that you do to transform and to change people's lives. Let me tell you. The understanding of the spirit. You can only understand the spirit when you launch forth deeper into the spirit. If you cannot understand who you are, then you cannot understand the move of the spirit. The move of the spirit is a different thing altogether. Kwa sababu it's a spiritual transaction, it's a celestial movement, it's a celestial movement. Things in the spirit begin to manifest in your life in a strange occurrence. Men that made allegiances with Elohim and they moved upon the face of the earth like gods. They walked among men like gods. They they made the earth to shake, they tumbled the earth. Mm powers and forces fell at their at their feet they bowed down before such men because they were carried they were moved by the spirit and Obadiah spoke to Elijah and he told Elijah ya kwamba utachukuliwa wewe na roho utachukuliwa the next minute you will be in another place Obadiah understood that Elijah was not just a simple man Elijah was a prophet Elijah was the mouthpiece of God Elijah was the spirit himself The man Elijah walked among men and made fire to come down from heaven devoured the soldiers a one man army moving upon the face of the earth God walking among men it is the time and it is the season for the men and the people of God to stand on their feet stand in their places in the spirit and manifest God in capacities never understood by men it is time It is time. I hear in the spirit in Aniambia it is time. It is time. The time cometh and now is when those that are dead shall hear the voice of the Lord and those that hear shall come to life again. Is sauti kufikie wewe. Is sauti kutoe mashimoni. Is sauti kutoe kwa kwa laana. Is sauti kutoe kwa shida. Is sauti kutoe kwa mapigo ikutoe kwa umaskini. Ikutoe It is time it is time let no man tell you ya kwamba sio wakati wako wamesema sio wakati wa kujenga sio hakuna kitu kama hiyo it is your time it is your time mtu asi mtu asi it is your time 
hautazuilika tena. Maandiko inasema ya kwamba walipokuwa hawawezi kumficha Musa tena kwa sababu walikuwa wamemficha kwa muda mrefu. Maandiko inasema ikakuwa hawawezi kumficha tena, hafichiki tena. Wakamtoa Musa, wakamwachilia sasa safari yake ikaanza kwenye maji. Musa kawekwa ndani, akawekwa pale, akachukuliwa na maji. Wakati wako utakapofika, my God, milango yote itafunguka. Jeti zote ambazo zilifungwa na kufuli za shaba, kufuli za, za kila aina zitabomoka zenyewe. Wakati wako umefika ndio sasa na kuta zitabomoka. Waliosimama mbele zako kukuzuilia wataondolewa. Na kuambia utapita it is your time. Waliokaa katika kiti chako watainuliwa, utawekwa katika nafasi yako. Haikuchukua muda kwa Sauli kuondolewa. Mungu akamwambia Samuel, "Kwa nini unamlilia huyu? Kwa nini unamlilia huyu? Tayari nimejichagulia, nimejichagulia." Kuna wale Mungu anajichagulia. Sisi hatu kujichagua, tulichaguliwa kwa sababu ya kuikamilisha kusudi na mpango wa Mungu. Let me tell you, it is not about how much or how, or how far or it's not about your PhDs and your degrees. No, it's about the move of the spirit. It's about the move of God. It's about the agenda of the spirit. It's about the agenda of Elohim. It's not about your degrees, no. It's not about which school you went, no. Sio hiyo, it's about the agenda of God. So long as you are in the capacity to manifest God's agenda upon this world, my brother, my sister, go for it. You are unstoppable. Ignite that fire that is in you. You are unstoppable. I'm talking to somebody. You are unstoppable. That anointing that is in you can break barriers. Do not underestimate yourself. Crush them. Scatter them. Bring those forces down. Bring their pillars down. I rebuke them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them go down. Let your presence affect them all. Let your presence shake them all. It is the presence that you carry that creates a difference in you. Yes, and the Israelites were exempted from calamity. They were exempted from destruction. There was no hailstones. The Israelites living in Goshen was a mystery before the Egyptians. They never understood the mechanism and the strategy that they were using, such that they were not affected when the boils were affecting the Egyptians, when the flies, when water was turning into blood. It was not happening in Goshen. Why? The Israelites were exempted because of the covenants. It's because of the covenant of God. Ni lile agano ambalo naweka na Mungu litakufanya wewe uwe tofauti katika maisha yako na katika jamii yako. In this dispensation you will shake this world. In this dispensation you will shake this world. In this dispensation it is your time. Arise. Inuka ni wakati wako. Hakuna silaha yoyote ile itakayo Samani kidogo kwa mitambo lakini bado tunaendelea Tunajua mpango wa Mungu ni kitu ambacho ni siri kubwa sana ambaye ni yule ambaye aliyeitwa peke yake anaweza kujua mpango wa Mungu Nabii anaweza kukwambia njia yako sisi anapa lakini ule mpango wenyewe wa Mungu ile 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 agenda iko ndani yako iko ndani ya yule ambaye ameitwa kila mtu ameitwa na sababu yake kuna wengine wameitwa kutoa mapepo wengine wameitwa deliverance minister kuna wengine wameitwa ili wapiane msaada wa advice za ajabu ambazo zinaweza kuwafikisha watu katika njia ngumu ngumu kila mtu ameitwa kidogo yake everyone has been called in a different way according to the agenda of the spirit kwa sababu the anointing carries an agenda and it shall go before the lord in the spirit in the spirit and in the power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just. Yaani huyu mtu anaenda kukamilisha makusudi ya Mungu lakini anaenda kwa nguvu ya sampuli hii na anaenda na agenda ya namna hii in the spirit and in the power of Elijah. Huyu mtu anakuja kwa sababu kuna agenda ambayo anapaswa kuifanya to turn the hearts of the fathers to their children. Kuna kitu ambacho kinafanyika hapo. 
turning the hearts of the fathers to their children unabadilisha mioyo yao na mababa iwaelekee watoto wao to turn the hearts of the kuna kitu kina unanisho sana turn the hearts of the fathers to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just kuna hekima fulani ambayo watu wanapaswa ku operate in it is your time that is the language i want to speak to you today that it is your time it is your time it is go and shine go and manifest god go and manifest the spirit go and manifest power go and manifest the fire do not be shaken by the wind do not be shaken by any storm storms will always be there yes storms are those that elevate and promote us from one level to another their own storms and our work is to calm the storms there can never be coming storms if there are no storms so let them come our work is to come there to display the glory of god in the lives of people so that they can encounter the covenant platform of Elohim so that you can encounter god you need to come into covenant with god you need to come into agreement with the spirit people don't just make it in life no people don't just swim in millions no people just don't, don't just wake up swimming in billions swimming in great wealth no there is a covenant platform that is speaking in their life there is a covenant anointing speaking in their life and this man Isaac worked greater he worked greater Isaac was swimming in billions and Abimelech was shaken to his bones and he began to look for means and strategies of how to get this man out of his vicinity because this man was exercising strange influence in that in that jurisdiction now this man Abimelech look for a way to to evade and to make sure that this man is out of that place so he went and faced this man for diver and he told him that you must go you are greater than us and you are going in a very fast way in a dry season in a dry season we are told that this man in in a dry season we are told that uh, 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 isaac planted in a dry season and he harvested he harvested the man understood the mathematics of the spirit that it's not about the rain it's not about the water no there is a spiritual understanding that this man had that he planted in a dry season he understood he understood something that many other people did not know he knew something that many people did not know neither did they understand spiritual understanding is what the church lacks spiritual understanding the capacity to understand the events and time and the sons of isaka had understanding of time and events these men were swimming in strange anointing the children of jacob were not just children the children of jacob were swimming in strange power they were swimming in strange anointing they were swimming in strange capacities and understandings in the spirit the man called joseph exercised supernatural governance in egypt overtook the realms of pharaoh and he was the man in charge mtu wa mungu it is your time it is your time do not be shaken by men do not be shaken by their intellect do not be shaken by what they know there is that which you know that which you are supposed to speak to them that which you must speak to them my god go and speak to them go and speak to them preach unto them the gospel of salvation the gospel of the kingdom of god teach them preach unto them evangelize it's your go pay it is your time it is your time nakutakia ukue na weekend njema ukue na muda mzuri uh, mungu akutie nguvu na mungu akubariki sana it is your time may the lord bless you hapo juu kuna namba andika whatsapp tuongee speak to me i am here Moses Mark Mungu akubariki sana Moses Mark Carolina Karambu God bless you so much it is your time Carolina it's your time Moses Mark it is your time my brother it is your time it is your time waliokuwa mbele zako wameshaondolewa Peter Zala Jackson it is your time waliokuinukia katika maeneo yako wataondolewa walio kupangia vitu vya ambavyo ni vya uovu vitawapata wenyewe it is your time basi Mungu akubariki tukutane wakati mwingine tena
katika kipindi hiki hiki katika platform hii tunakwenda kufundishika mambo mengi the lord bless you so much the lord keep you in jesus mighty name